Hey guys, what's up? It's Alex from Nuznus here, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about a monster drop that has gone up almost three times in value over the past year. This actually shocked me when I looked into this. Uh, I think this is going to be a super interesting one. I'm super close to hitting 35k subs soon, so if you like videos like this, make sure to hit the subscribe button to help your boy out. Sometimes you think you're subscribed and you're just not. Uh, I've had people say, oh, I think I've been subscribed to you for like a year, but I actually haven't been. YouTube is just weird like that sometimes, so make sure you double check but thank you guys for all the support and let's get into this so recently i was looking at some of my collection logs like my slayer collection log and i noticed uh in a certain section i had a ton of vital sparks and i remember them being just like a few hundred k each but when i looked up the price they were almost 500k which absolutely shocked me because as you can see uh, i have an absolute ton of them at first i was just shocked at the fact and was like wow this must have gone up a lot recently but when I actually looked at the graph you can see vital sparks were only like 180k less than a year ago and recently they got as high as 500k each which got me wondering why did these go up so much and the story actually gets much more interesting so make sure you stay tuned but before we get into why all this happened first I want to talk about why vital sparks are even important well they aren't just a random resource they're actually vital for making one of the best abilities for pvm yes pun intended that deserves alike. Uh, vital sparks are used to make limitless ability among other abilities, but the limitless ability is a very, very powerful ability for PVM. It takes 2000 vital sparks, which as of now is like 1 billion GP almost. Basically, when you use the Limitless ability, so when activated for 6 seconds, all Threshold abilities can be used without the 50% Adrenaline requirement, only requiring 15% Adrenaline instead. This makes it awesome for if you, you know, Sunshine or Death Swiftness, you can almost instantly uh, Adren Pot Limitless and then use like 2 Thresholds abilities. It's nice in a pinch if you really need a Threshold, but you don't have the Adrenaline. It's just a very, very good ability. So what happened? Why this huge shift in price and what can be done about it or should anything be done about it? Well first let's look at an update back in June 2022. This update was a balancing change in a ninja strike which made the vital spark drop rate scale with the slayer level requirement to kill the creature. This meant the deeper you go into the Menifo Slayer dungeon, the more vital sparks you're going to get from the harder creatures. This didn't end up changing a ton, it did make the harder creatures more worth it to do, but they also made Corrupted Scorpions drop salvage less often too. Now you might think, why does this matter? Surely you can just go deeper into the dungeon and kill the harder monsters and get more vital sparks? Well, as it turns out, a lot of the vital sparks coming into RuneScape were from bots. I'm sure you guys remember the Corrupted Scorpions in the Slayer dungeon were riddled and riddled with bots and I mean it was so bad that literally every world you would hop to there would be bots after bots after bots killing these corrupted scorpions to the point where I remember getting angry and just leaving after hopping like 20 times. I made a money making video back in the day on these a year, a year and a half ago and yeah it was uh, very frustrating. But it seems as of this update or possibly Jagex just banning these bots, I'm not sure which one as you can't be positive, but there's been a rapid decrease of bots killing Corrupted Scorpions. I hopped over 20 worlds and every single one of them was free at Corrupted Scorpions. Not a single soul, let alone a bot, nobody was killing them. So whether the bots left because of the decrease in drop rates and salvage, or Jagex just got better at detecting them, this seems to be a huge reason why Vital Sparks have gone up so much in price but it goes a little bit deeper. You need 2,000 Vital Sparks just for one ability for one player, let alone a very good ability. Vital Sparks also do not have a lot of mobs that drop them. The only other place that drops Vital Sparks other than the Slayer Dungeon creatures is the boss, the Magister and he actually drops 10 or 20 of them at once and with the use of vital spark enhancers you can get double drops every time. So you might be thinking to yourself, oh man the Magister must be bank right now and a great place to go and farm vital sparks. Well things have changed there as well. About a year ago I did a ton of Magister on a Road to Party at video where I killed the Magister and obtained a full Kopesh. 
I got around 470 mil in loot after selling the Kopesh, which 60% of my money that I made was from the Kopesh, with 35% being Vital Sparks and then the regular loot being another 5%. Well, since the Arch Glacier came out and tier 90 dual wield melee weapons became less and less desirable, seeing as you can get the tier 85s for pretty cheap, the Kopesh has gone down an absolute ton in price since then. If we reworked the same loot that I got back then to today's prices, even with Vital Sparks going up I would have made 335 mil instead of the 470 mil with 83% of my profit coming from the vital sparks so less money made and almost all the profit coming from the vital sparks however you might be thinking to yourself all right so you make less profit but it's still decent it didn't drop that much well you need to know that keys to the crossing are used to kill the magister in the video I mentioned a year ago keys to the crossing were only 220k each now there are a little under 400k each. So not only are you spending double the money on keys per kill, but you're getting less loot than kill, and that loot is distributed mainly towards the Vital Sparks. Now why have keys gone up so much in price? Well you might think, hey Vital Sparks went up, so keys go up as profit goes up, right? Well profit actually didn't go up at the Magister, it's actually worse loot per kill now than it was a year ago. Vital Sparks did double in price, but Kopesh dropped completely. So with the Magister being worse loot per kill now, keys have doubled in price for some reason. That just doesn't make sense. Well, what are the main method to obtaining keys to the crossing? Well, corrupted creatures. The same corrupted creatures that have such little activity now compared to before. With keys being so high, Magister is not really that great of money anymore. And while corrupted creatures are all right for GP, they aren't being camped by many bots, so no one is really bringing many vital sparks into the game or keys to the crossing. Meaning less people are doing the Magister because keys to the crossing are so expensive, meaning the Magister is less profitable than it was previously, all amounting to way, way less vital sparks. That's why a powerful ability like Limitless costs around one bill. So what is the answer to this? Is there an answer? Well, one answer is uh, nothing. It's an expensive ability, a very powerful ability. Maybe you think Jagex should just leave it alone. And that's the question I want to pose to you guys this video. What do you think should be done for vital sparks? If anything, let me know below. And it's just kind of like a wild chain effect. Like there's less people doing the corrupted creatures. So you have less vital sparks that way and less keys and then less keys means they're more expensive and since they're more expensive the magister is just less profitable and if the magister is less profitable less people are going to do it and if less people do the magister then we're not going to get as many vital sparks in the game so yeah it, this is a very expensive ability and if you didn't already buy it i kind of feel bad because one bill for it is insanely expensive don't get me wrong it's very good but one billion gp is quite a bit this is isn't some super rare boss drop or anything it's more of something uh, that has to just be grinded but there's not really many people doing that grind I hope you guys enjoyed this video as someone with over 3k magister kills and a place I really enjoy going I found this topic pretty interesting to look into let me know below make sure to leave a like if you like videos like this subscribe as we're super close to 35k so if we can get there that would be absolutely amazing and uh, yeah I appreciate all you guys and I'll see you in the next one